Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Amy and today I've got another drawing tutorial for you. Today we're going to be drawing an up close leopard eye and fur study. So if you want to learn more about drawing an animal up close, then keep on watching. If you're interested, I also have the full real time version of this available over on my Patreon for $5 and above patrons, as well as a library of loads of other tutorials over on there in a whole range of different mediums, coloured pencil, watercolour, charcoal, graphite and pastel. Each tutorial comes with an outlined sketch and reference photo that you can download as well as a list of the materials so you basically have everything to hand to get started. I have left a link to my Patreon in the description down below so you can check that out if you want to but let's just jump straight into today's video. Okay, so the first thing that I like to do for pretty much all of my animal drawings or any drawing that I do is I like to get in those outlines first. So I will be using a black pencil to do this. I just normally take a black pencil and I start to outline certain features of the animal or the subject. So obviously for today we're drawing the leopard and what I am doing first of all is actually starting to outline certain parts of the pupil. And I do this because firstly the eyes normally are like the main feature of a drawing. I like to just capture them straight away and also because I feel like it helps to shape the whole face of the animal as well. I am also using an embossing tool so this is like a tool that's normally used for like clay or pottery but I am using this to actually gently score the paper and what that does is as I start to shade over different colours over the eye the embossing lines show through so it sort of creates little details and highlights within the eye. The next thing that I like to do is I like to just start to shade in different colours for the eye and it's really important to build up a lot of tone in the eye because they're very very sort of reflective, there's a lot of different hues in them and it's very realistic as well. So to get that realistic result I am adding in loads of different colours here and I am also going from like light medium to dark as well. So I started by sort of shading in some light yellow colours colours, some light greens and then I start to build up all of my different hues and I am also re-outlining the shape of the eye as well so I'm just going in with a black pencil and just outlining and I did also shade in some black into the eye as well because black is a great colour for like really making the like shadows and certain areas really pop. Then to finish off the eye, when I've got like all of my different colours in there and I've got my hues in there and I'm happy with how all the colours are looking, I do like to start going in and burnishing into the eye. So I'll use a few different colours to do that. I was just using some light yellow, some orangey colours, some burnt ochres and also I am using the white luminance pencil to just go in and really intensify the highlights. So next we are moving on to the fur and the first thing that I like to do is I actually like to take a kneaded eraser and I like to lighten up the fur. That's really important that you do that because if you do have really harsh outlines they can actually show through the drawing. So I just like to go in and lighten them up. Then what I'm doing is sort of similar to what I did for the eye. I take the black pencil and I'm just going in and very lightly just creating some little fur textures with the black pencil. I have also used an embossing tool for creating some fur texture. So as you can see when we go in and we start to sort of shade in different colours, those lines show through and they look really really good. It really adds that sort of realistic feel to the fur. So I'm going in and I'm actually shading in lots of like fleshy tones, um, light oranges, light yellows to create that really nice sort of light fur. And then for the more shadowed parts of the fur, I'm going back in with the black pencil and also some dark browns. There are also obviously some spots in the fur so I'm trying to create areas where there's like darker patches of fur with the black pencil. 
And then for the waterline underneath the eye, that's quite dark. There was like quite a lot of browns in that area. So I was just shading in some browns. Also some dark greys. I think I used like the warm grey six and also again, the black. So you'll notice me throughout this whole drawing going in quite a lot with the black. And it's just really where I'm trying to re-intensify everything again. So now we're working on another section of the fur and I'm actually working on some of the spots. Now you would think that obviously with drawing a leopard we're drawing you know like the actual sort of spots so it would be like a circular um, shape but actually what you can see is that the spots blend in a lot with the rest of the fur and that is definitely one thing that a lot of people get confused about they have some difficulty with um, and they just literally draw like you know black spots. Um, but you don't want to go and do that because then what will happen is it will look like the spots aren't part of the fur and actually it's just a different colouring to the fur so you want to make sure that it is blending in with the surrounding fur as well. If you just try to draw the spots in black as well then it's going to look really flat, you won't have that three dimensional look. So you can actually see me working in a lot of other colours. I'm working in a lot of browns, a lot of the lighter tones as well and I'm also trying to transition the black spots in with the rest of the fur as well by sort of dragging down the black pencil into the surrounding fur. So now we're moving on to sort of like the corner of the eye. This was just like a really short sort of study. Um, it was, you know, it wasn't drawn out the whole of the face. It was just pretty much focused on the eye area. And in the corner of the eye, we've got a lot of dark fur there. So it's very dark, it was very intense. So I was using a lot of black and browns and also some greys. And there was like a slight highlight in the corner. So I'm just using the, I think it was the buff titanium from the Luminance set. And then you could see me using that embossing tool again. It's just such an effective way for getting in those like really nice fur details. I like to shade in some sort of like nice warm tones in there. So I was using like a caramel colour and also a nice orangey colour and just shading that underneath the eye. And again, I just really built up my tone. So I started by shading in some lighter tones and then gradually moving up to the darker tones. And what is really nice is the more pencils that you shade over, the embossing lines just show up more and more and more. So you will see them show up a lot with like the really dark colors and then I'm starting to just like finish this eye study off and I'm just incorporating a lot of shadows I'm trying to pull up some highlights as well just to really make this drawing pop one of the last things that I actually do is I do like to use the black pencil right at the very end and I just like to go in and just re-intensify everything. But we are just about finished now for this tutorial. I really hope that you did enjoy this one and don't forget, as I said, I've got the link to my Patreon down below. So if you want to check out this tutorial and loads of other tutorials that I've got, then you can find them over there. I hope you did enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching and thank you to my patrons who are already supporting me as well. I will see you guys in my next video. Keep creating and I'll see you soon. Bye guys!